looking sick. Before I checked out, I did a quick run through to make sure I hadn't left anything behind. I have a flight to catch today, so I thought why not leave this big bottle of conditioner here. Bergamo was just like a comforting homemade dish for me. Nothing too fancy, but it's like the fuel that keeps me going for my next adventure. Today I'm stepping foot in the Czech Republic for the very first time. This is totally new territory for me, so honestly, I got no clue what to expect. Actually, there is a closer airport from Bergamo if you go with Ryanair. But I'm choosing to head back to Milan for my EZZ flight. I've flown with EZZ before, and from what I've heard, they're a bit more chill about baggage rules compared to Ryanair. I had this leftover 200 hotel credit from Amex that I didn't use last year, so I decided to trim myself to a hotel stay tonight as a New Year's gift to kick off January. Prague had always been my dream Christmas destination, even though the holiday has passed. However, since it's still early January, I'm considering it perfectly timed. I bought the plane ticket in advance when I was in Florence. I basically zipped through the airport security checkpoint and then headed over to the airport lounge. I practically inhaled some free food for the first time in a long while and tried my hand at being a digital nomad just for fun. Is my luggage going to fit in this? <laughs> However, based on what I've heard, EasyJet wasn't too concerned about it. I double-checked the route I had looked up earlier, and I finally stepped into the city. Even though it was just a brief few days in serene Bergamo, it's a quite a change of scenery to be surrounded by the lively streets of Prague. At just $55, getting this level of luxury feels like a really good deal if you ask me. At the time of check-in, I received a pair of welcome drink coupons. So I decided to kick back in the lobby with a glass of champagne and another one filled with beer. 
I also figured I would treat myself to hotel dinner using the $100 hotel credit from Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts. As I look around, I notice everyone else here seems to have dressed up a bit. Meanwhile, all I got on hand is my trusty hoodie. So here I am tucked away in the corner. Honestly, it's been ages since I stepped out of my hotel room and just decided to have dinner right on the spot without the usual hassle of hunting down a budget-friendly restaurant. Wow, what's going on? <laughs> Looks really good. Thank you. Since my booking includes complimentary breakfast, I headed over for a morning meal. Also thanks to Amex, I've got a late checkout at 4 p.m. I then check into my Airbnb and won't have a time to eat lunch. So despite being labeled a morning meal, I'm definitely planning to load up on this breakfast spread. I had a nice dinner last night and treated myself to a minibar beer before calling it a day. Surprisingly, I still had some of that $100 hotel credit left, so I treated myself to a glass of champagne to complement my breakfast this morning. I stuffed myself with food until I couldn't possibly eat anymore. And then I went for a stroll in the garden right in front of the hotel. I haven't had a chance to dig into Prague's detail yet, so I'm not entirely sure what to expect. However, I took a little wander around the hotel's surroundings, enjoying the lovely architecture. I spent a good chunk of time just soaking in the bathtub, giving in to the kind of laziness I've been secretly wanting on this trip. Then I decided to check out a bit earlier, around 3 p.m., to make sure I get to the Airbnb before it gets dark. This Airbnb wasn't any less satisfactory than the one I've stayed at before, but I guess I'm still feeling a bit down after transitioning directly from the hotel. Ever since I began traveling solo, I've aimed to avoid venturing out at night. But today, due to a late check-in, I had no choice but stick to my usual routine for the first day, which included picking up some groceries from the local stores. In Italy, you can find Coke Zero, but it was quite a challenge to track down Diet Coke. However, I eventually managed to find it here. I also grabbed some beer too. Funny how it's supposedly cheaper than water here in Prague. During my time in Prague, my mission is to taste as many different types of beer as I can. Pretty, but it never goes as planned. 